hey guys, Super X here, and I got another product from Sunbox to show you. Um, basically, you guys know Sunbox. The way I got to know Sunbox was through their awesome squonkers. It's early in the morning. I'm having about my third vape of the day. When I say third vape, I mean like third pull. Okay. So yeah, awesome squonkers. They've been making these things for years. Um, within about the last year, I started to get involved with them it's because I love the, I say involved, I started to get sunboxes, regulated squonkers. Then I got the big moon raker. I, got, I mean, I got a bunch of their squonkers. Then I got the big moon raker to do, it kind of came like the one I'm doing this movie on, the prototype moon raker. Well, I got the big one. Prototype, did a review on it kind of my impression of it. Um, why? Not because I'm like a tank guy, because I kind of got familiar with the Sunbox products and that's what these are. So um, I got the big one to do with my, it looked like this. After I got it, I, I had a loss for it in my life, so I went and bought me this one. Carbon fibered out um, one. Then Paolo made a my, uh, this one is called a Nano, it's an 18500. And he sent it to me along with this one to, you know, give an impression, make a little movie of. Unfortunately, I've had the bad boy for, I think I got it on March 12th. And I'm just now getting around to it because I figured, ah, one day I'll get me an 18500 battery. I'll go out and get one. I'll go out and get one. I made some 18490s. Well, my 18490s were over three years old. They didn't work too, too good. In it. So on Friday of this week came my... 18500, a little 18500 battery. So I got like a full size Griffin tag plugged in, full size Griffin tank plugged into this um, DNA 40. The DNA 40 is no mistake, it is a DNA 40. Um, full size Griffin tank plugged in. This is the proto. Um, Ears will not look like this. I mean, it will in kind of shape and, fit and function, but it won't be a right raw from the mill aluminum like this. Just we'll put them side by side, and the picture will likely be finished in a lot of cool different colors. I say likely it will be. Um, let me let's go through the kind of the technical and the look at the inside of it and the proportions first. The Big Moon Raker. So here we got the E8 line of products in front of you. Keep in mind, this is a prototype. Um, the first thing I want to point out before I go through anything else is the battery retainer screw will not be recessed like that. Um, this is the prototype, and that's going to be made up for. I'll show how, how that will be taken care of on the inside. It'll wind up being more like this. Um, again, it takes an 18500 or an 18490. These are both 18650 mods. So this is the 18650 E8 Squonker. Um, this is the 18650E8 Moonraker production model. This is the 18500E8 um, Moonraker non-production model. Now, all these mods are by Sunbox, um, born in Virgiate, Italy. And um, give you a little peek at all sides of the I wanted to kind of show you the difference in height. I mean, this little fucker is tiny. Okay, this is a very small mod coming in at 3 and 3 eighths of an inch. This one is three inches tall at its tallest point, okay? All the other proportions to the regular Moonraker are the same. Um, it's two inches wide. Both of these are two inches wide. Um, both of them are an inch and one, one and one sixteenth of an inch across this way. This one, this happens to be three and three eighths inches tall. This one is um, three inches tall. And you'll notice on this one, this one I got it as a blem. It's called a second choice. Because I'm not a tank guy. But once I had the Moonraker, I had to have one. I just went and said, hey, you got any that are kind of beat up that I can get? And I um, wound up getting this one and I use it at times. I'll put my killer Griffin tank on it. Most of the times involved when it's cold weather or really dressy situations. Other than that, I'm a squonking individual. But there are many tank people out there. Many people that love tanks, and that's a 30 little dollar tank in there, and it is a very good performing tank. I doubt most of the people that are buying this mod, this thing's in like, I think it's 335 euros or 
350 euros. I'll put the right price in the video. I think it's one of those two on um, plus shipping. Um, let me go over the sizes in millimeters <clears throat> for people. It's um, 51 millimeters wide. Both of them are. I'm telling you the one. The dimensions are the same. 51 millimeters that way. Um, the height on this one is 72.5 millimeters. This one is 85 millimeters. And the depth of both, the widest dimension, is 27 millimeters. Okay. So again, this is a tank mod. And you'll see here's the production version. So I want to show you bolts so you can see just how closely the production version matches these prototypes. They're right on. Again, this one has an 18650 in it. This is just, I'm just going to go right out there and say this is much more my style. I like the 18650. I'm not sure there's anything different about this other than its size and battery capacity. They're both DNA 40 mods, okay? Five click to lock and unlock. All your DNA adjustment is right here on the front. With the Griffin tank, that, that's about as far as it goes down in there on this mod. So to me, that just kind of makes it where it's not my style of mod because I like a tank. If I was going to use a tank for one thing, because I'm not a tank user, I'm a squonking squonker. Um, I wouldn't want to see that much tank personally. I'm just it doesn't do anything for me seeing a bunch of tank. There's a lot of people that probably does a lot for, especially if you have a real tank. This is, I wouldn't say this thing doesn't vape real, but what did, what did I say? It's like 30, 40 bucks is what I paid for it. So here's the outside. Again, the prototypes on these are tight and clean. I actually have a Sunbox e, E7 that's milled like this, and I love it. But they, they just won't come this way. They'll come looking blinged out like this one is, you know. There's, there's a carbon fiber upgrade package for it where you can get a carbon fiber door and faceplate um, for it. I just happened to get this one sent along as a little gift with this one. I didn't even order it. I just got it as a little gift. I ordered the freaking cheap man's model. Like I said, I, I don't use... Uh, Sunbox are kick-ass mods. I'm just going to go out there and say that. My opinion, they are solid as rocks. They were the first mods I ever got when I went regulated. So I just have an affinity for them because I know when I press the button... That thing's going to light up. So after I did my movie on that Proto, I said I have to really I have to get my own. I just see a use for it in my life. Well, enough backstory. Let's look at the front story and look at the DNA 40 of this. Again, this will not be recessed down in here. Let me show you the insides of it. Got a little door that comes off the front. It's held on with magnets. This one's a little tight. My fingernails are a little short. Um, just to give you an example. On a, on a one that's production model, okay, it's easy. Anybody, your your mom can take it off there, okay. Your your kid, children, should they happen to find your mod and want to play with it one day, could take that off there. This one on the proto model, the prototype is a little bit of a biatch to get off there. For me, now, if I didn't just like trim my nails all the time, especially before I'm making a movie. There you go. So there's the insides. Let's look at them. I'll break it down for you. But I was, as I was telling you about the battery retainer screw being a little bit um, recessed here, it will not be that way. It'll be like that. It'll be made up for in the size of this Delrin box. I've already contacted the maker, Apollo, at Sunbox of it, and that's how it's going to be made up for. Okay, so there you can see this is, I mean, I don't know how much further you probably did on the prototype there's room I could I could squish this thing down in here all the way okay and um, put that tank in there a little further but I know that Paolo put some fail safes in the production versions that won't allow it so I tried to put it close to about where I believe it'll probably be allowed to go in other words this one can go down further in here too on this um on the production version it can go down right to about there Okay, so I probably should do that. It just, he does that to keep it from people from mangling the, the bottom of it. You know, there's always going to be a handful. So let's see if I can go down to about there. There's about how low your tank will go on this. Now let's do a comparison. Why I like the Big Mooner. It's a full-size tank. Now, it, they are um, maximum of 23.4 millimeters is the maximum width tank 
maximum diameter of a tank, 23.4. Most of them say they're like 22 millimeters, but they may have some kind of narrowing or fanciness on them. So he advises 23.4 be the maximum size you put on there. So you can see what that does to this on this mod and why I had it where I had it. Okay, this elevator, this basically makes this tank disappear and I, I really like that about the Moonraker. I keep it, I run it right about there so you, you barely see any tank. I've run it to here. I try and keep things geometric and flush. But right now I've been running it right to about here. The elevators on both of them lock with this screw. You'll hear a distinct click when it locks and that keeps it from moving much I still will hold it I don't I don't just like I'm not forcing my tanks on and off anything I, I never I don't I'm not a forcer of mods okay so while we have this tank off this mod which does not come with the mod the battery does not come with the mod you'll supply your own battery and your own tank while we have those off there let's kind of look at the system here how this goes down battery is held in with this killer retainer screw cut all this is made by Sunbox. This is a custom stainless fabrication vented here on top as you can see. Um, your vent holes easy to take off. A little 18500. So there's the inside of it. This battery system no spring. It's all a positive mechanical contact. I mean it's a mechanical contact. Positive goes down. Negative goes up. You've got the elevator with the screw. It will probably limit it again in top travel height. Um, how far can go up just to not overextend your cable. Um, and you, Obviously the man doesn't want to put a mile of cable down in there because then you, you won't be able to close this thing. Okay. So you've got to, you're going to be limited in how much cable. I forced it down in here pretty good, didn't I? It, it probably, I mean, who knows, it may go up that far. I don't, I don't know. This one's a little bit of a different story. It's a much taller mod. I mean, the, the regular Moonraker, we can see it has a, a travel height limiter there. Okay, so there's that. While we have it in this view, you'll look down in there. You'll notice the um, silver-plated adjustable 510 pin on there that is adjustable with a 1 point, it's a 2 millimeter hex. One comes with the mod. And all you do with it is you could turn it to raise and lower it to make um, contact with your mod. Raise it or lower it to make contact with your tank 510 pin. So that's that. That's looking at it. And again, the deviations from the prototype to the production, not much. Not a whole bunch. They, this is going to be pretty close to it. You can see the battery compartments are separated from the juice compartments, I mean from the tank compartment. Um, you'll notice it's a three, the elevator itself rides on three rails, one, two, three. And I've found it to be an awesome system. I've had this one now. I think I got it right around, I think it came in the package with this one. So let's just say around February 12th, I've got it. And I've put quite a few tanks through it because I use it for cold weather stuff I use it for nighttime stuff um, when it's cold and I'm wearing gloves I find it easier than squonking okay so there's your full size Griffin tank on there they make the smaller tank I have called the avocado it's a much cooler um, it, you know um, let's see how I can describe it since the avocados air slots are like an RDA they're on each side this one they are too I just pull them up because otherwise they'd be behind here on a full-size tank they ride back there I've found that wherever these air slots are whether they're facing straight out or, or anywhere in the mod they seem to work about the same because there's plenty of room to breathe around them okay they have a lot of room inside the mod and you've got these air intakes on the door I find as long as I'm not blocking those with my thumb you're in good shape you know you can kind of carbureted if you wanted to <laughs> But uh, that's not that's not the way. I'll just kind of roll it like this when I'm when I'm vaping it. Okay. So again, your 18500. Again, these are lithium ion rechargeable batteries. Understand batteries, Ohm's law, and all that kind of good stuff. When you're getting into this stuff, know know that your battery is legit. Research your battery, and um, 
understand what you're doing with these type of batteries. Okay, I consider these mods, anything that runs to me on lithium ion batteries to be for the semi-advanced vapor. And that's all I can say. So there you go, this little thing goes in there. Ultimately, it holds it nice and, nice and tight, the battery. You'll wind up with it on your production version being nice and flush. Um, everything's on there nice and securely at this point. It's a, it's a non-rattling mod. If you hear a little button rattle, oh, I better point that out. These ones are going to come with a flat button like this, but I think he's even made it more flush now. I stole the batter, the button from this one. It came with this button on there. And I, Paolo, I, I said I could do it because I said, wow, that button is different. He said, you can change it if you want. So of course I did. But I think they're coming with one that's even more flush now, which is even cool. It's not 100% flush, but it's like it's it's not as projecting as this one. So it won't come with this round button. I should have put this one back on there for that. What a doofus. I didn't. My bad. But it, well, these round buttons, he's kind of changed them out to a new style of a, a, a flat button. And I like it. That's why I change it. But it won't project even that much. It has less projection. But just a very, all sun boxes, I mean, are very crisp firing it's a you, you know when it's firing there's no guesswork there's no fumbling around there these mods are high quality mods that's why i went out and bought me a what four hundred dollar mod that takes a tank that i use not much at all I'm mostly running things like this right here and a matter of fact i just i do need to hit it it is early in the morning this one So this is just such a killer little quality mod that closely resembles, and that's why it's called the E8 Nano, because of its smaller size, closely resembles the E8 in every way, the E8 regular Moonraker, with the exception of the height, 3 and 3 eighths inches, or 72, or 80, 85 millimeters, 3 and 3 eighths inches, versus, um, 72.5 millimeters or three and three three inches three inches god dang three inches tall so it's just a little less or a little more a little less than half inch shorter than the big one yeah i was supposed to make this video friday night i was going to make it fell asleep last night i made it set my alarm for 1 30 because i want to spend a little time with my wife you know once the kids go to sleep and I woke up and it was 5.30 in the morning. I'm like, damn, I wanted to make that video last night. So here I am. It's probably at best 6 a.m. my time. But now I'm starting to get after it. Go upstairs and make some killer espresso. Put this puppy on the um, on the computer and uh, run it through the, the washing machine there to what spits out a movie. And um, you'll have some killer engravings on it. I'm sure it'll say Moonraker. I'm sure it'll have the killer Sunbox logo. I'm positive, unless you go out and ask for it, that you will not have any blemishes on your anodizing. Note that it's anodized. These mods are anodized inside and out, fully anodized inside and out. High quality. Mine is yet to get scratched. I use it quite a bit. Note again that the carbon fiber door, and um, oh, the, they come marked with positive and negative. This one will too. Again, it's just a proto. This is what the guy makes, Paolo makes, to... Um, to just test it, vape it, and he sent it to me to check it out. So I feel pretty fortunate to have that. Okay, so the an they're anodized through and through. This one's been running, other than the blemish is not a scratch on it, not a scratch on the bottom. It's been running for over a month. This one has some carbon in the bottom. I'm not saying yours is going to come that way. I'm not sure if that's part of the upgrade package. I don't know about the carbon upgrades, but they come in a bunch of colors. Um, they're all different colors from some killer. This one's called a titanium gray to the blacks to, um, I've seen oranges, greens, blues, different colors they come anodized in. But if you're looking for a solid little mod to run a tank on, these, I wouldn't put it this way, I wouldn't even have a tank if it wasn't for a Moonraker. So they're strong, these mods were, they strongly convinced me 
that I need one. And I'm a freaking proclaimed lifelong squonker. You can only imagine people that like tanks, what they'll think of having a mod um, that you could put your killer tank on. You can display your tank if displaying your tank is your thing. You can run your tank down in the mod like it's my thing so that it doesn't display a bunch but just a convenience factor of not squonking in cold weather. These things are highly pocketable. You can put them in your pocket when you got these type of tanks on here because tanks like this Griffin, the sub cheap. I mean, I know cheap tanks. I don't know good tanks like Hurricanes and Picos. I don't know about those, but they're probably even better. Um, put it in your pocket. Not have to worry about it leaking it at all. Um, that was the appeal of it to me. Why I, I have you wondering why I have a Moonraker. No, I don't get these sent to me for free. I'm not that big time yet that people just send me these. I bought this with my own freaking hard earned money. I don't make that money from these YouTube videos. I can promise you that. And, um, this one does a lot the same. The only difference is smaller battery, smaller hands. This little thing freaking disappears in your hands. Smaller battery, smaller hands. Same, again, the same profile. They're like identical in profile. Just a height difference. So if you've got your small hands, girl hands. Oh, these, I think I've seen them in purples too. And maybe even pinks. I'm not sure. They do a bunch of different colors. And smaller tanks, they make smaller tanks in this Griffin. This could be the mod for you. Right here, imagine that thing carboned out. Carbon face plated like this. Carbon doored like that. Off the chain little mods if you're a tank person. It's an off the chain little mod for me and I'm a sunbox person. Super X saying, I hope you guys have a great day or night.